Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Capricorn from the 25th to the 31st of March 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I put my details in the description box, so please go to my website to book a reading. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read for you, and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. So the first card is a long journey and you're about to embark on a long journey and this could be in a career or in love. Uh, there are new opportunities that are coming your way and all will be successful. So that's the first card. Whatever you're starting off now is going to end up being very successful. It's got a card of caution above it which says um, something might look very easy and you must be very cautious about your investments career or love so whatever journey you are make sure you're doing some whatever research you need to do um, don't just do something uh, because it looks like it's going to be pretty easy uh, it says you should be careful and do not act hastily so it's very important to work to move forward with great caution it looks like you're walking away from a difficult situation. Even though you're starting over, be patient. Your actions will be rewarded and happiness will come. So whatever you're leaving behind now and embarking on this new journey, you can see they're walking away from something and moving away to the future. Even though you can't see what the outcome is going to be, it looks like it's going to be successful, but you are now leaving uh, the past behind and you're now moving forward. But do do it. Don't be very, very rash in how you do things. Act with caution. So in the past, you've got a lot of obstacles that you had to encounter and, um, you know, um, you have become very wise from the experience. So you've had to rely on your inner strength to deal with all these problems that you were facing. Maybe your pathway felt like you were completely blocked, but it looks like, uh, you know, you are, uh, you've learned a lot from this journey and you are, um, are now starting to overcome these obstacles. It looks like the path is completely open. There's nothing in your way right now, but just proceed with caution. And also the last, uh, going to the future, it says be alert. Um, so you might find that you are a victim of somebody else's jealousy or dishonesty and be alert. The situation calls for clarity. Pay attention to the details. So whoever you're dealing with, make sure that you, um, you know, have eyes at the back of your head. Uh, work with a sixth sense. Don't just trust anybody just for, because they seem or appear to be uh, nice because they might be very jealous or they might be up, uh, there to trip you up. So be careful about who you're dealing with at the moment. Uh, you know, play your cards very close to your chest. Um, be cautious about who you divulge information to. All right, so those are the energies for that uh, week. So I'm using the Tarot Apocalyptus for the... Um, Ellipsis for the uh, main read. Let's see what it's got to say. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the wheel. So things are starting to turn. You can see this woman sitting over here and actually holding the wheel in her hand on her lap. And she's now starting to turn it. So I think it looks like things are, you know, if you're going through a period of lack, things are going to be more prosperous. This is a card with a lot of color and a lot of beauty and uh, a lot of abundance in this card. So this is a positive card and a positive change coming for you. The wheel turns in cycles. It also, um, you know, you have to wait for things to happen. So something is coming into your experience. There is some kind of events that are coming in that will help change this wheel or turn this wheel and you are looking to the past a lot you're trying to find out these solutions to things and you are using a lot of that experience that you learned in the past to apply to your present in order for you to turn the wheel so you are being very proactive you're not sitting and waiting for things to happen you are doing um making things happen in your life and you are starting you're taking lessons from the past and you're starting to move forward so um you know where things were stuck it's going to start moving right now You've also got the Fool. So after the Wheel of Fortune with the Fool, it means like there's a big positive change coming. So this is that uh, um, whirling, um, the whirling Sunni. 
So this is about letting go of the things that are not serving you and moving forward with a fool. It's taking um, that leap of faith and just, uh, you know, leaving everything behind and moving forward. Um, so, um, you know, you are going to start something brand new, a brand new cycle coming in. And, uh, you know, um, it's something that's going to start moving. Now, this has also got that because this person whirls or turns around. It looks like, um, you know, um, this is a movement. This is another cycle. So the old cycles are finished. And now uh, that wheel of fortune or that cycle in your life is changing. You are finished with the old and now you are moving forth. And you can see with the death card over you, have definitely let go of the past. Uh, you have let go everything that is not serving. You can see this um, death is walking forward um, and leaving behind the past, leaving everything that did not work uh, for them and moving forward. There might be a, even a move over here. You've got the world uh, over there. So it looks like, you know, whatever you're moving forward, you might have a lot of travel involved in it. So you're going to be doing something that you've never done before. You've learned a lot. There's the uh, owl over here. It's just talking about the wisdom that has been learned and with the scythe of here, you've cut out things that are not serving you anymore. So you're cutting out the past completely and starting something absolutely brand new over here. And the wheel of fortune coming in over here. Now there are three major arcana cards over here. So even if you don't want to change or you don't want to shift, it looks like uh, the universe is going to be doing that for you. These events are things that are not really in your control. Uh, with the world, the wheel, the fool, and the death card, it's all about the ending of an old cycle and a definite beginning to something new. You've got the strength card over here, and this is taking control over the situation. So whatever destruction there was, so this is Durga facing... Um, Shiva here, you can see he's got the snake around his neck over here. So Shiva was the god of destruction and this is Durga facing with all the tools. So you have had all the equipment with you, all the tools, all the talents you need to sort out these problems. And she's lying, uh, riding this lion. So you're coming across as being a very fierce person, somebody who is very much in control, has a lot of power in their hand and also has all the tools they need to sort this out. It's almost like the magician card, you know, on a lion, um, the magician on a lion. So you do have everything that it takes to sort it out and you've been doing that in the last year so you've been getting um, control of that situation and sorting out any kind of destruction or any negative or toxic people in your life you've been sorting that out and moving forward with great determination as well you've got the hermit card over here so spending a lot of time by yourself but also maybe studying or healing from any kind of difficult situation and um, you know focusing on finding answers and the truth really with the hermit card so spending a lot of time by yourself like i said very work focused uh, but also uh, doing maybe a lot of learning as well because the hermit is the card ruled by mercury and mercury is about learning You've got the Tower card over here. So you are still getting over whatever happened in your life. It was a very destructive situation and it caused a lot of drama. Uh, you can see all these. Um, this is... Um, everything is on fire over here. It's like cremation that is going on over here. So the old has been almost burnt out of your life. And it came very suddenly and there was a lot of destruction. Uh, you can see there's a lot of skeletons over here. And it's forced you to let go of things that were not serving you. So this was something that has still had a, quite a big impact on your life. And you're still thinking about it. It brought big changes, uh, big dramas, and maybe a big devastation in your life. And you're still getting over that. You've got the Queen of Wands over here. So this is you using your intuition, taking over control of that situation, um, you know, being in charge. Maybe whatever you have, you're in charge of a project that you work with or maybe in charge of that situation. But you're definitely taking that power back into your hands again. You could also be dealing with a fire sign person. So this could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with. And this person focuses quite prominently. Maybe they're giving you guidance on how to deal with the situation, uh, to how to get your power back. Um, but they are, you know, with the Queen of Wands, she's got a lot of authority in her hand, a lot of power, and she just has a lot of focus. Uh, and a lot of people are attracted to her because they think that, you know, she's the bee's knees. So um, maybe this is how you're even coming across as somebody who is in charge, who knows what they want, and who's good to go for it. This is a card that could also talk, be talking about dealing with a lot of foreign people and a lot of foreign travel, because the ones invariably is about travel to foreign countries or dealing with the projects that involve, um, you know, um, universal, a universal flavor to it. So dealing with a lot of international people. You've got the two of wands. There's some kind of decision that you have to make as well. You are at the crossroads of here. You can see launching out 
all these camels over here. So there's something that you're putting out and you're hoping that it comes back uh, with prosperity. So you're thinking about it. You have reached that crossroads. You're looking to the future. You're making future plans about what you want to do. And you're launching something uh, that's going to bring in, uh, you know, you want all these camels to bring in the wealth on their back. You want them to carry it in. So whatever you're doing, you're putting it out there and you're, you're hoping that it brings in something uh, a lot of prosperity so it might be a new idea a new project it could even be a new love something that you're um you have put a lot of effort into and now you are you want to see some returns so there's some decision some kind of crossroads that you are at and you are facing that kind of decision maybe you're trying to decide whether you should be doing it or whether you shouldn't so this is uh where you are trying to choose that that pathway for you now you've got the five of swords you are dealing with very very difficult people around you uh, it's a very difficult situation there might be a lot of arguments fights um maybe very vindictive people maybe you know a lot of competition as well that could well be the case uh you know and it's very very stiff it's very very uh, intense um and the, you know um it looks like people are not taking any prisoners so you are in a very um uh, a difficult situation watch out for people who are uh, deceptive as well people taking control and there uh, you know there being a lot of lies being spoken so a lot of deceit so this is not a really good card these are the people that you're dealing with so you make sure that you're not uh, you know handing out any of your secrets uh, make sure that you're keeping everything you know mum's the word really you've got the four of pentacles you are trying to accumulate wealth maybe this is what you lost uh, after going through that very very difficult situation and you're trying to focus on uh, earning money and keeping you're watching your money quite closely as well uh, you know, you don't want any loss. So you are counting the pennies right now and you're making sure that you're keeping a tight rein on your finances. So going into the future, you've got the two of cups over here, the six of pentacles and the king of cups. So the two of cups over here, it looks like there's some kind of new relationship coming in. Now, this could be a love relationship, but with the caduceus, it could also be a business relationship. Maybe you want to start something brand new. This could also be, you know, choosing between two projects. Now you've got two cards over here, the two of wands. Maybe this is a decision about two projects and the two of cups is also a decision about maybe getting into partnership with somebody as well. So you are dealing, you are trying to make some kind of decision about either starting a new project or even going to partnership with somebody else and that, you know, on a business front. On the other hand, the Two of Cups is also a, very, uh, a soul connection. So somebody new might be coming in as far as your love life goes. And it looks like, you know, this person and you connect on a very, very high spiritual level. You are, you know, you communicate very, very well with each other. So this could well be the case that you may have uh, started a relationship and it looks like, you know, it's a good relationship as well. If it is a relationship... Uh, that we're talking about you've got the six of pentacles this person is a very generous person and you'll get along very well because the six of the pentacles is the earth's suit so you are uh, able to give in to receive uh you know emotions with this person on the other hand if it is a business relationship that you have started with this person it looks like they will be very generous in this and you'll be able to work very very well share ideas uh and be able to make this project very prosperous with the six of pentacles it's showing money coming in uh, and whatever that business relationship, it's a good business relationship, will bring in a lot of wealth for you. You've got the King of Cups over here. So this is, um, you know, you might need to get some kind of... Um, this person that you might be dealing with as coming across as the King of Pentacles. It might be a water sign person, um, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces that you're dealing with. On the other hand, it might be you trying to seek some kind of um, support it could be a uh, you know professional support in the form of uh, counseling if you're going through a difficult period it could also be seeking medical advice because the king of cups is usually uh, somebody who deals with um uh healing and um you know um, physical health as well so you might be needing to seek some kind of uh, you know you might be um you might need some health um uh, um, care input really uh, you might need to go and see a doctor or somebody if you're having any kind of illnesses at this particular moment so uh, that could well be the case that you're seeking some kind of um, medical advice as well or medical support um, this person in itself could even be somebody that is just supportive so this person that you have this two of cups relationship might be coming across as being the king of cups in the sense that they're very very um, uh, loving and they're very supportive and they're somebody who listens to you who uh, you get along pretty well with and may they might be making an offer to you as well 
So you have, it looks like there's some kind of uh, relationship or partnership uh, that you are starting that's going to produce, you know, the Six of Pentacles is also about people giving you finances or giving you money. And this might be the King of Cups presenting a new offer to you. So somebody giving you some kind of new offer that's going to bring in a lot of finance. It's going to pay you, uh, pay a lot of money. If it's not uh, medical issues that you're dealing with and having to see a doctor, then it might be somebody offering you this um, financial assistance because you've got the Six of Cups over here. And, you know, this person, uh, you've even got that Caduceus uh, displayed quite prominently in this card, so it could be a business relationship. So maybe a new offer for coming in for you that's going to bring in a lot of um, money, and you're going to work very, very well with this person. Okay, so let's uh, draw some cards from the Animal Tarot as the Oracle read. So the first card is the Nine of Autumn, which is saying your success has brought you financial security and the reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. So you've got the Nine of Autumn over here, which is the Nine of Pentacles, which is talking about becoming successful by your own efforts. So working hard will bring success and recognition to you. Um, and you need to take some time off. Um, you might be spending a lot of time by yourself, um, you know, getting, maybe getting some work done or even, um, you know, spending some time healing from any kind of situation. So there is a uh, element of being, uh, spending some time by yourself and taking some downtime time as well. You've got the Four of Winter, and this is also about getting rest after stress. So these two cards are talking about spending some time by yourself and healing. And you've thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continually, um, continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to the resolution. But meditation and prayer will bring answers you seek so you do need some, to take some time by yourself and consider uh, what is going on with you uh, you know uh, see to get the truth back in into your life again about the situation you do need to sp uh, spend some time by yourself this is the card of healing the four of winter it's the four of swords uh, you know getting over the difficulty of that three of swords which was that heartbreak and the Four of Swords is about healing after that heartbreak and taking back your control as well. Then you've got the Five of Summer over here, which says focus upon the facts, uh, fact that God loves you and has always the highest intentions for you. Positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties so you can move forward and upward. So you do need um, to be more positive in your thinking. You need to take a little bit of break, a break, um, you know, and spend some time by yourself healing, uh, you know, maybe retreat a little bit, maybe go on a little bit of a holiday uh, to get back the perspective that you need. You are dealing with very difficult situations and it looks like you're going to have to make some kind of decision. It looks like it might be a business decision about whether you should start off by yourself or go into partnership with somebody. Um, in order for you to bring in more money. It looks like there's some kind of offer coming in. Maybe an offer to go into business, a, a business partnership with somebody coming in for you. Um, and you've got the three major Arcana cards over here. So something brand new uh, is starting off a new cycle, uh, starting off for you. Um, so maybe you never would have thought about going off on your own and doing your own thing. Uh, but it looks like there's going to be some kind of choice or some kind of decision that you're going to be facing soon. Uh, and something brand new starting again. And the past is now in the past and you are now moving forward. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.